Hello viewers, welcome to Vector Cano Tutorials. So in this video I'm going to show you about how to use Cano Graphic Panel. So before going to how to use on Cano Graphic Panel, I'm going to show you firstly how to create the graphic panel. So once you have opened the Vector Cano tool, so you have to select the option Analysis and then you have to click on to the measurement setup once if you have selected this measurement setup you will see a window like this and here you have the option of creating your own dedicated trace block graphic block sample block like uh, sample uh, here you see it as a sample uh, which is nothing but the graphic uh, uh, block At the same time you can also create logging block and data block as well in order to create the graphic block you have to select the option right click and then you have to select insert graphic window once if you have clicked on the insert graphic window you will get a separate block like this I just renamed that as sample just for this demo purpose you have to select to this option in order to prompt to a separate graphic panel I'm clicking onto it and now we had prompted to the graphic panel in this graphic panel you can add signals which you wanted to monitor I had already added five signals for this demo purpose so how to add these signals is very simple you can right click and then you can add signals and then whatever the signals it's present in the database will be shown from there you can select the required signals which you wanted to monitor so like this okay now in this video we are going to see majorly on the Canoe graphic configuration block so you can double click on this left panel or you can also select right click and then go to configuration two ways by which you can reach to the graphic configuration window and here you have the option of customizing your graphic panel and we are going to see majorly three sections in this video the first one is signals or axis the second one is y axis appearance third one is time so for the remaining options uh, you will find it in a separate video so i'm going to focus majorly on this three options firstly signals or axis so this particular section is predominantly meant for scaling your Y axis. So in this section, you will see all the signals which you had selected or added in your graphic panel. It will be appearing in this section. Along with it, you will also see the min and max column for the respective signals. And also, you will see the captions of each signals. So here, I'm going to tell you how to customize your signals in terms of its scaling so firstly the min and max column will be shown for each individual signals which you have selected so you have the option of selecting the minimum value as well as editing your maximum values so that based on this min and maximum value your scaling will appear like this so right now it is selected as 0 and 655 for this vehicle speed so you see this minimum value as 0 and max value is 655 so you will not you will see as a bar over here the same way you have a value 0 here and then 2730 for wheel speed so that is where you see the axis starts from 0 and it ends up at 2730 now coming to the vehicle speed clock so here 
we have the min value as minus 11.39 to a maximum of 16.399 so this if you modify if you do not want to start from minus 11 you want to start from minus 50 if you enter the value as minus 50 and if you select ok so if you see it starts from minus 50 so again I'm going back to the configuration yes it starts from minus 50 and then it ends up at 60 so I wanted to again select 50 as a max value so you see now here now the minimum y-axis is minus 50 and then the max value is plus 50 so that is how you could in this way you can adapt your or customize your y-axis for each of your respective signals which you wanted to monitor properly in the graphic pattern so that is the purpose of this signals or axis section now we are going to the second section which is y-axis appearance this section is meant for customizing your y-axis views in the graphic panel so earlier it was scaling of y-axis now y-axis appearance is about your y-axis view as well as y-axis caption so for that purpose you have this section here you will see multiple options like show y-axis all y-axis alternating y-axis separate views and then in the y-axis section you will see the options like none captions at the axis captions about the diagram so I'm going to show one by one what is its purpose so firstly show y-axis so again this option is selected so that you will see all the y-axis so if you unselect this option you will not see the y-axis at all so obviously for our monitoring purpose we need the y-axis so we select always this y-axis good now going back to the next option all y-axis so here you will you're currently uh, the graphic panel is customized or selected for the separate views so that whatever the signals the five signals which I had selected here in the checkbox you could see the tick mark is seen so it means that these signals are selected so for all these selected signals you will have a separate views so this is a separate view this is a separate view this is a separate view so one view it comprises of x and y axis so that is what we call it as one single view and now if you wanted to I don't want to uh, have it as a separate axis and I wanted to see like all y axis together in that case you can select all y axis option so I select the all y axis option and then if I click OK you will see all the signals overlaying one after the other and you will see all the y axis all the five signal y axis together in this one single view so this will be helpful for certain analysis purpose but right now I am again going back to the separate views now we are going to the next options like on the captions section so we have three different options like none captions at the axis captions about the diagram so captions what is meant by this caption for each signal you need to have a caption or the name if you wanted to see the name of the signals so then you can have it over here if I select none you will not see any of the signal names in your views so that is the purpose of captions now if I wanted to I, I wanted to have the signal name to be listed in the views and I wanted to list it down in the axis so then you have to select caption at the axis now you see you see the signal names in the axis now going back to the other options captions above the diagram so if I select this option all the captions will be listed down together at the top of the views like this you see all the for the each views you will see the captions listed down at the top 
left corner so with its with its own color representation so the pink one it represents a vehicle speed and the uh, yellow one is for the vehicle speed and so on so that is the purpose of having the y axis caption section so now we are going to the final section of this video which is on the time so the purpose of this section is majorly to customize your x axis earlier at the start of the video we have seen the scaling of the y axis the same way here it's more of like scaling of the x axis here you will see the options like display option display mode then you have the start you have the uh, option for the length and you have some two different sections for on measurement start and on measurement stop and then you have the scroll mode so these are the various sections you will find it in the time section now we will see one by one what is its purpose firstly is on the display mode display mode what is the what is the purpose of having this display mode is you want to measure the time or it's based on the measurement time in this date hours minutes and section uh, and in seconds order or you wanted to have it as a date and time so this is the display mode that you wanted to have it so if i select now the measurement time is based on the seconds now if i wanted to select as like a day hour minute and seconds order you will see the the, the 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 data in this order and if you wanted to uh, select date and time you will see the date and time also so that is the purpose of this display mode so what is the purpose of the start mode start mode is something that from where your x axis should start so here it mentioned as 122.793 seconds it means that your y, your x axis starts from 122.793 which is over here you see here it starts it's, it doesn't start from zero now if i click if i give the value as zero it means that your x axis will start at zero you see here now your x axis starts from zero so that is the purpose of the start and what is the of what is the purpose of having this length length it is meant for what is the length of your x axis so here if you select and it's 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 uh, you can put your own desired limit up to which you want to see the signals so for example i'm putting it as 100 here for 100 seconds 100 seconds is the length and it starts from zero so if you see here the value starts the x axis starts from value zero and it goes all the way till the end of 100 so your x axis length is 100 now going to the next section on on measurement start and on measurement stop so what is this on measurement start is something like the start of your measurement so this is something like you see here there is a um, there is a flash button so this is nothing but uh, if you click onto it it starts the measurement so this is the this is your start of your measurement so when you start the measurement what should be your uh, time axis so that you have you can set automatically so uh, that is based on your on measurement start and this is something like on measurement stop when you stop this measurement uh, how you wanted to fit like you wanted to if you select the fit time axis it means that after you stop the measurement it will fit all your time axis it means the time axis is nothing but your x-axis it will fit all the complete um, complete signal uh, length into your uh, view restrict data to one second so this is again um, you can restrict based on your time duration that is another option that they have given it and then the final one is on the scroll mode as you all know scrolling it, it goes based on the x-axis here so uh, here we have uh, two options like auto scroll mode and then we have the shift graphics by the purpose of this auto scroll mode is if you enable this option so it will automatically do the scrolling over the x-axis so you don't need to do uh, you don't need to um, go based on the length so if you select this scrolling so uh, once if it is exhausted this length it will automatically scroll 
to the next next time axis dynamically so that is the purpose of this option if you select shift graphics by uh, if you enable this option it will also allow you to enter the percentage and also um, it, it it also uh, gives the option of your seconds so this percentage option is something like if you give 30 percentage it means that your x plus x axis will scroll by 30 percentage so uh, if you select 100 percentage it means that your uh, 100 percentage of your axis will scroll and then it starts from for example if your length is 100 means then the start value once if you have uh, surpassed the limit of 100 it will automatically uh, your start position become 100 and then your uh, end position will become 200 it means that 100 percentage shift so that is the option that you uh, if you s uh, select the shift graphics by you will uh, have this option uh, in order to uh, scroll so these are the um, three sections um, and its purpose I had explained in this video uh, hope you like the video uh, if you like the video please uh, click on to the like button and uh, click on to subscribe so that you will see more of my videos on the vector kernel tutorials uh, which will be helpful for you in developing your competency towards this tool thank you all for this opportunity to explain to you bye bye